It is 6.54 a.m. in Starbase, Texas, a gorgeous sunrise, and Starship is targeting liftoff at 7.25 a.m. Central Time. As you can see, it is a beautiful day in South Texas for the fifth flight test of Starship. for Flight 5 today is attempting to return the booster to the launch site that you see right there and it will be caught by the tower. We refer to this simply as booster catch. As you've heard us say, Starship and Super Heavy are designed to be rapidly reused, which is why we're, we've developed a novel way of returning the vehicles that leverages the same hardware we use for stacking ahead of flight. T-minus 5, 4, Three, two, one. right over ahead of us and we can see it starting to come down. Guys, we should just be about 30 seconds away from our landing burn. It's gonna happen in three phases. We're gonna land 13 engines, burn off all of that velocity. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. Booster coming in hot for booster catch. Can I ignite 13 of those Raptor engines and this view is incredible right now.
the flap, all the flaps <laughs> that will today, not that could, the ship will re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Now, as a reminder, one of the main goals of today's test flight is for the ship to make it through the extreme heat of re-entry and to do so in a controlled manner. Uh, the atmosphere remains on a nominal entry trajectory. Starship has passed through 85 kilometers altitude. Flaps now have control of the vehicle. Yeah!